This strategy accelerates on our growth trajectory, the one that we restarted three years ago. It accelerates based on renewables, where we have an established presence and a leadership that is recognized everywhere. And it restarts with a renewed focus on infrastructure networks and customers. We are number one in renewables, number one in as private network operators, and really we are leading edge in terms of technology and innovation. And so I do believe that we can confirm a strong commitment to a sustainable growth. We are the enabler for a modern economy, a modern society. Around this concept, we are building our sustainability approach, in which we are at the center of a development that uh, at the same time provides a service that is the power, the energy we deliver, but also an opportunity for social economical development. Sustainability is the way to have a long-term sustainable business. This year we are increasing investments in renewables. The second important change is on NLX in which we have inserted a position towards a leadership in the urban infrastructure. NLX plan for the next three years is very simple. We need to focus on mainly three things. One is urban infrastructure. The second one is energy as a service. Basically what we're trying to do is to reduce the cost of energy for our customers and reduce uh, the CO2 impact on the way they uh, use energy. And the third one uh, is the flexibility in general. Enel has become a more sustainable, efficient and profitable player. Uh, renewable infrastructures and new energy services are the key pillars and the key elements of Enel strategy. We have the aim to support the industrial growth and also the operational efficiency. On the asset side, we are trying to optimize the generation of cash, mainly based on the analytics and on the predictive maintenance. 80% of our investments are related to digitalization, starting from smart meters in Latin America, smart meters in Romania, and building up the digital architecture of our network for being able to serve our customers with a better quality. The centricity of our customers is reinforced in this plan and uh, we want to serve them in the best way possible, being really close to their needs on a 360 basis and uh, the products that we are developing are really customized and made and tailor-made on our customer base. Very impressive the focus on organic growth, increased capex, a very good point for us and in particular the indication of the run rate of 8 billion capex at the end of this plan. Very reassuring message on the dividend as well with the new dividend floor introduced for the next three years. If you mix this EBDA with a strong cash generation, you see the reason why we can afford a very attractive dividend policy over the next three years period. We project an acceleration of growth in the three years and a progressive de-risking of our activities. So with the dividend that we have promised you, you have a guaranteed return that is in excess of 7% on top of what the value appreciation of the share can be. So find me something that matches that and then otherwise invest.